Hello everyone and welcome to this Moodle tutorial. In this tutorial, you will be able to add groupings in a group. Groupings is an assignment of activity to a particular group. In the previous tutorial, we have created groups like Group A and Group B. In this demonstration, we will assign Group A to the activity assignment 1 and assign Group B to the Activity Assignment 2. In order to do that, from your course page, click on the Actions or Settings menu and then click More. The course administration page will be displayed. Click the Users tab and on Users, click Groups. The group page will be displayed and you will be able to see the groups that you have already created. From the groupings tab, we can create or assign activity to a particular group. To do that, click the create grouping button and then supply the grouping name. For example, activity for group A, and then you can leave the grouping ID number as is or blank. You can also supply description for the grouping, and then you may click Save Changes button. As you can see, the grouping name has been created, but no groups has been assigned yet. To assign a group, on under or under the edit column, select this icon, the last icon, show groups in grouping. And then you will be able to select the group. So let's assign group A for that particular activity. And then click back to groupings button. So now, you will be able to see activity for group A assigned is group A. So, as you can see, the activities column is zero. We will add an activity later. Then let's create another grouping for group B. Let's supply the grouping name activity for group B. And then click Save Changes. Let us assign Group B to this particular activity or grouping. Then click Add and click back to Groupings button. Now that we have a grouping, let us go back to the course page. Make sure that you click the Turn Editing On and go to the activity where you will assign the activity for the group. Click Edit and click Edit Settings. And now the, editings, the Edit Settings page for this particular activity, which is assignment, will be displayed. Go to the Settings, Common Module Settings. As you can see, the group mode is separate groups, and then you may choose the, for the grouping. And then select Activity for Group A. Save and return to course. So now, as you can see on the course page, Assignment 1 is belonged to, the, to Group A. Let us do that in Assignment 2. Click Edit and Edit Settings. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and select the Common Module Settings. 
select the grouping, and this time, let us select activity for group B, and then save and return to course. As you can see now, there are groups, activity, or group activities for group A and group B. If we go back to the groupings, let us click the action menu and click more. Then click users and click groups. You will now be able to see the groupings here, wherein under the column activities, there is one activity that is assigned to group A and one activity assigned to group B. When we go back to the course page, participants of group A should not be able to access the activity for group B. And the same, group B participants will not be able to access activity for group A. So this is all the tutorial for the groups and groupings. Thank you for listening.